So, you're thinking about starting a YouTube channel, aren't you? Well, apparently so if you clicked on this video. And guess what? I think that is an amazing idea. You should start a YouTube channel in 2023. And in this video, I'm going to go over a few reasons, share some tips to help you get started. beautiful people it's your girl Octavia Darling welcome back to this channel now the tips that I'm sharing are things that I actually did because I started my channel a year ago and the things that I've done I am still applying and I've seen great results so you definitely want to get your notepad out write down some notes so that you can apply this and get your YouTube channel started first things first I know you've heard it a lot of times and it's a reason why you keep hearing it, but you want to choose your niche. Why you may ask? See, a niche, the way I like to think about it, is your starting point. It helps you to be very intentional with the kind of content that you will curate. For example, when I began this channel last year, I decided to start with sharing about my lock journey. Now, will that be the only kind of content that I share on this channel? Of course not. But I use that niche as a starting point because I wanted to start to build a community of people who are interested in that topic. So when you think of a niche before starting your channel, think of the community of people that you want to build, who you're targeting. Because when it comes down to creating videos, it will be easier for you to stay on track and in your own lane. Number two, think of the kind of content that you want to create for your videos. Will they be informational or tutorials? Maybe you want to shoot vlogs. It's good to have in mind the kind of content that you'll be creating because when you reach the point of batch creating your content, it will be easier for you to think of topics on the type of videos you want to make. Number three, think of your target market. And I'm sure you've heard that so many times as well, but it's so important to know who you are targeting and why. Just as I'm creating this video right now and I'm talking to you, I had you in mind when I said, I want to create a video to help the kind of person who wants to start a YouTube channel in 2023. Also, one of the main tips is think of a problem that you want to solve. When you're sharing these videos, especially if they're in informational or tutorials, you're, you're thinking of the problem that someone has in your videos is the solution to the problem. So always keep that in mind when you're curating these videos. I highly advise that you do research about YouTube. Since this is the platform that you'll be sharing your videos on, you really want to know the ins and outs of YouTube because now you're transitioning from being only a viewer to being a provider. So you want to know what YouTube has to offer. What are the guidelines to become monetized if that's a goal for you? Which kind of videos are the best type of videos right now? How do I learn about my analytics and so on? YouTube has so many helpful guides and so many videos that can show you what to do that you literally could take time out to learn on a daily basis. Also, YouTube is the type of platform where they like to see that you're very consistent consistent and active so if your intentions is to become monetized and to really be like active on youtube then you really want to create that system so that you can so that you know that you're going to be posting this many videos each week and you have the content already planned out to post because when you take big gaps then your videos are not being shown on other people's pages, you know, new potential viewers. So you want to stay consistent and basically let YouTube know, hey, I'm here and I'm taking this seriously. Now, if you're on YouTube as a hobby, then you don't even have to take all of these tips to, to heart. Honestly, you can just post vicariously as you choose. But 
This is for someone who wants to really maximize their efforts on this platform. Also, you want to think about the entire process of making a YouTube video. You want to consider the editing, creating YouTube thumbnails, creating catchy titles. What are you going to put in a description? Learning about hashtags, using music that is not copyrighted putting closed captions on your videos. There's a lot of working parts behind the scenes that goes into creating a quality video that I highly advise that you do your research on that so that you can be ahead of the game and not necessarily behind. Because if you don't really know those working parts, not having that together can kind of prevent you from staying as consistent as you want to be and it can kind of hold you back from progressing as quickly as you want to. So I highly advise you do your research so that you can have at least majority of your ducks in a row before you officially launch your page. And last but most certainly not least, I'm sure that you all have heard this tip from other YouTubers on their videos and maybe I'm the first one that you're hearing this from, but one thing that I've learned this year particularly is that you want to treat your YouTube channel like a business. And when I tell you that causes a mindset shift, trust me, you want to do this. You don't want to be someone who just solely posts on YouTube. You also want to be someone who engages with other YouTubers. Think of other YouTubers that you like to watch. Um, think of those that are doing, that are in the same niche that you're interested in. You know, be engaging with them and let it be genuine. You know, actually support them. Comment on their videos, like their videos, Give them the energy that you want to receive as well, but don't do it in a way where it's like, oh, I need to get this out of the way. Let me just like, let me just comment, let me just subscribe, let me turn on post notifications, let me just do the absolute most, and it doesn't seem genuine. No, really become a part of the YouTube family. You know, just be more active on this platform because that also does pay off. So this video was just a brief overview. Trust me, I can go into so much more detail, but this video will be way too long for you if I was to include everything. But if there are any specific details or topics that you want me to break down into separate videos, then comment them down below and I would be more than happy to do so. But if you just have a few questions that you want to ask and you don't want to comment them down below, then shoot me a DM on Instagram. Um, and while you're at it, just go ahead and follow me on all social media platforms. Search Octavia Darling and I'm sure that I will pop up. This concludes the video for today. And actually, this concludes the last official long video for 2022. So I hope that you all have a safe new year. Thank you so much for supporting me and this channel. And I can't wait to see what will come for us in 2023. <laughs> I will see you all later and take care.